Okay, we got the Predator 69 731 vertical shaft engine, and we're putting it on the Aaron's string trimmer here. It's a 6 ST622, and the old motor's down here. New motor bolted right on, but the shaft is a little bit longer. So if you look at the old motor here, the shaft on this guy is shorter. Both have 7 8 inch shafts. The one over here, the pulley is sticking uh, down too far this way. So there's two, two things I can do. I can either cut the shaft off about, I'm just eyeballing it, probably about 5 eighths of an inch, uh, which sounds kind of hokey. What I'm going to probably end up doing is shimming the motor up here. So I'm going to put some uh, blocks underneath here. I'm going to try a half inch to five eighths. I need to do an exact measurement to lift the motor up on the frame. And then I'll have to goof around with uh, cutting any shafts off or anything. Here's the old engine here. The shaft in this guy is shorter than the Harbor Freight one. So the pulley right now is sticking toward the ground more so it's not going to line up here with the idler. The idler's over here and the air and string mower and this has got the ball that's over here for the string. So we're re engineering in this. I don't have this tightened down so this is actually uh, let me put this up a little bit more. is isn't as bad as so by shimming this mower, either putting a bunch of washers or cutting some, uh, making some spacers that are about roughly half eighths to five eighths. I'm going to lift the motor up and get it to work right on this. That's the 22 inch Aaron's string trimmer. And then there's the old Briggs. It's got some issues. Again, that's the Predator 69731 engine we just bought for I think 102 with tax.